Good afternoon. I'm Rob Johnson. Kate is off today. He claims to be helping the disabled by suing small businesses that are not handicap accessible. But some say instead of making the businesses comply, he's settling for cash. Here's CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas with this original report. There's, there's no way for us to do this. I'm sorry there's no way for us to do this, but this building is from the 1890s. There's no way to do it. The owners of Club Lago admit they're not accessible to power wheelchairs, but say a lawsuit against them just smells bad. A disabled person is suing for accessibility. What's wrong with that? That's great. If that's what was happening. Loftus says this building does meet ADA requirements because the entrance is too close to the curb for a ramp and a lift would be cost prohibitive. He thinks the suit isn't about accessibility, but about money. Opportunist attorneys are using this as a way to generate fees. In fact, one lawyer, John L. Steele, has filed suits against Club Lago, Brett's Kitchen, Breon Pub, Franklin Room, and several others. We tracked down two of the plaintiffs listed on those suits. They both reside at this SRO on Chicago Avenue. How did you find this lawyer? Mark came to me that he's his paralegal. Mazurk told us she's suing at least 10 restaurants, but was unable to list their names. Loftus says many of those restaurants will undoubtedly settle to avoid hiring architects and attorneys to go to court. It's a lot cheaper to settle than it is to fight. But settling does nothing to help the disabled. Basically, money just changes hands. It goes from one pot to the other, but the underlying accessibility problem is not resolved, and that's problematic. That, that, that gives a disability movement a bad, a bad name, frankly. At Club Lago, they plan to fight the suit. I'm not going to give you any money for this. This isn't, you aren't being honest. Now, we reached out to John L. Steele and his accessibility law group, but got no response. And we learned that there's no agency charged with going out and ensuring ADA compliance in these businesses. There are just a number of ways to complain about it. And Rob, lawsuits are one option. And so what do these companies, these businesses need to be doing because they don't look like they would be ADA compliant because you can't uh, take a wheelchair in some of them? The standard for some of these older businesses is that the changes you would have to make have to be readily achievable. And in the case of Cafe Lago, they would have to remove walls. They say they've had architects consult and that it would be way too costly because they do factor in that readily achievable according to cost and how much work it would require. Okay, very interesting, Roseanne. Thanks.